Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today is January 22nd. This is the recording to Bangladesh, to my fans in Bangladesh. I wanted to convey an important message to my brothers and sisters in Bangladesh. As I watched yesterday, January 21st, in a program with Al Jazeera Arabic, it's called Bila Hudud, without boundaries or without borders, with the opposition leader from Bangladesh, Shodari Muhyiddin, who is being condemned to death by a, a tribunal in uh, Bangladesh. I think it's a shame. The Bangladesh is behaving just like, like Egypt now. It's a sign of dictatorship. And I am very disturbed about it. I have right now 100 14,170 fans from all over the world. The second fans I have are 14,392 from Bangladesh. And the second city I have fans following my Facebook are in Dhaka, 7,147. And my address is to them. I will tell you, as an American living in here, I mean American in the United States, since I moved here 40 years ago, of Palestinians, Arab, Jordanian background, I am very proud and very happy to be a Muslim living in this country. What's bother me is dictatorship anywhere. So I am opposing dictatorship being in Syria, in Egypt, in Iraq, in Bangladesh, in Pakistan. It doesn't really matter. Islam is justice. Don't you understand that? Justice. I do not like the military. The military are, are horrible. But the military you had in Bangladesh, which oppressed you for some time, now came out again Sheikha. They are much worse than the military. Being Sheikha Hasina, or I don't know about Khalida, Dhiya, the other opposition, it's all alternative between Sheikha and Sheikha. Sometimes I feel those sheikha are not behaving as an Islamic. They're behaving as vindictive ladies. It just reminds me of the Quran in Surah Yusuf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he described, إِنَّ كَيْدَهُنَّ عَظِيمٌ كَيْد مكر. That's what Hasina is. When her father, Mujibur Rahman, decided to, to split from Pakistan to make it instead of being Eastern Pakistan, make it Bangladesh, the, the people of Bengal, which he chose nationality over faith, religion, it was terrible, I'll tell you. It was encouraged by the Hindus, who did not want any good for Muslims. They did not want to have anybody surrounded, you know, by East Pakistan, which was now Bangladesh, or West Pakistan, which is Pakistan now. I understand it could have been there is some oppression is some injustice, but you could have corrected that. 
but not to make the injustice with much worse injustice. That's what happened. When that Mujib al-Rahman split from the Pakistan to form Bangladesh, I was that time one, one, uh, 1971, I was in Madrid, Spain. I just finished my uh, speciality in medicine and I was doing my PhD thesis. I demonstrated strongly against, against that split from Pakistan. And I considered at the time that Mujib al-Rahman was a traitor, absolutely a traitor. No matter what her daughter, Hasina, is saying, that her father was killed and her family, that might, be, might have been injustice. But you cannot do to resolve an injustice by doing much worse injustice. She is controlling the whole country. She is using the military. Uh, I mean, she is using the whole country for one purpose, to continue ruling and to do her vengeance against her opposition. Uh, hanging or killing those people, she claimed that were against her father almost 45 years ago. That's ridiculous. She has no forgiveness. Let's say um, let's, uh, justice, let's say uh, court with justice decide on that. And Bangladesh is it's a rich country, especially the agriculture and so on. The clothes we, we buy here in the United States most of it comes from Bangladesh. I have met lots of brothers and sisters from Bangladesh here in this country. They are Muslim. We meet in mosque, in Islamic center. They are terrific, good people, very peaceful people. How is that this Sheikha Hasina? I think she gave a bad name for Sheikha. <laughs> Just last those, those Sheikh. Uh, the male sheikh from some of the Arab countries, uh, some, some of them from, uh, we call it uh, the Sultan, uh, which means the sheikh is Sultan, which means they are, uh, they are uh, under, they are saved, uh, the governments. Those are as bad as those sheikhs. Ala uh, kul hal, I am really concerned about it, and I ask, from here, from the United States, uh, for justice, uh, for uh, to have a, a democracy, uh, the transfer of power by peaceful means, and I call that always a an Islamic democracy, Islamic democracy, which means same as democracy in the West, but there is difference because the Muslim countries will not accept any. Uh, uh, any uh, uh, any any things which might contradict with the Islamic uh, principle, with the Islamic uh, 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 way uh, of life, uh, stuff like that. Uh, for example, uh, the Muslim countries will not accept abortion, which is uh, part of the here the women the woman choice. Uh, they will not accept uh, gay marriage, for example, which is uh, here in. A, considered as part of the democracy. Of course, uh, most important is uh, transfer of power by peaceful means, most important to have a independent uh, judicial system uh, and not uh, being uh, run by the political uh, establishment, stuff like that. Uh, I uh, give you my best wishes from the United States here uh, and uh, may Allah bless you and keep you uh, in the right path. ولا تهنوا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تهنوا ولا تحزنوا وأنتم الأعلون إن كنتم مؤمنين. تذكروا always think about uh, the most important thing we have uh, is really to be uh, a believer, uh, to have faith in Islam, which calls for equality, for justice. Uh, والحمد لله.
رب العالمين